guys so i thought i would show you guys an updated wash day hair routine from start to finish on my color treated hair so first off this is my hair this is an old wash and go probably about a week old as you can see it's dry in need of some loving and step one is just to release all the shedded hair so i'm just gently raking through my hair tugging on the ends to release any of the shedded hair this just makes it easier before shampooing and as you can see i'm not too happy about doing this whole process so step two is definitely to rinse and shampoo my hair so i'm starting off by making sure my hair is fully soaked and drenched in water and while the water is running through my hair, I'm sort of detangling with my fingers just very lightly so it makes shampooing easier and it doesn't get my hair any more matted and tangled than it is. So for shampoo, I'm using the E Salon Color Safe Shampoo and I've been using this product for a couple months now. It is sulfate free which is awesome and if you're interested I do have a 50% off coupon code in the D-bar. So I just focus the shampoo on my scalp and I just rub it in with the pads of my fingers. It's important not to use your nails because that can irritate your scalp and cause more flakes. So just use the pads of your finger and just really get in there so the gunk can lift up. So once I'm done shampooing, I'm just going to let the water rinse it out and I'm just allowing the water to run down my hair. I'm not going to put my hair in any crazy position because it's just going to cause more tangles. So I just let the water run down and it just releases the tangles for me. And as you can see, I'm kind of working in two sections. I usually part my hair in half and I apply products just like that. So this is how my hair looks in its natural state without any product. So step three is to use a color treatment which is also a toner. And this step is super important for people with colored hair. So I'll be using the Tinted Love Temporary Color Treatment. And this is the purple one so it's good for people who have blonde hair like myself. And what it does is it intensifies and tones and refreshes my hair color. And that's super important because I don't want my hair to look all dull and brassy. And it's crazy because for a long time I didn't know I needed to use like color safe products and I didn't know I needed to do a lot of these steps. So I'm really happy that I came by a line that is just catered for colored hair. And as you can see by my face right there, I felt the difference when I rinsed it out of my hair. So yeah, I pretty much kept this on my hair for a couple of minutes and then I rinsed it all the way out. And this product is definitely on my recommendation list so check out the 50% off link in the D-bar. Alright, so step 4 is to deep condition and detangle. This is really the only time I use a comb. I'll be using both Isalon's Color Safe Conditioner with a conjunction of their Nourishing Hair Mask to deep condition. So I'm pretty much starting off with the color safe conditioner and slapping that on one side of my head and mainly focusing on the ends. And as you may know, when you color your hair, it breaks down the protein in your hair. However, this conditioner does have amino acids as well as proteins in it, so it helps strengthen your hair back up. And right here, I'm actually putting in the hair mask and it is so freaking bomb. As soon as I put it on my hair, my hair felt like butter. There was so much slip. And yeah, this mask is amazing. And this mask contains argan oil and shea butter and it's supposed to soften and hydrate your hair. And I instantly felt that as soon as I put it on my hair. So now I'm just going to detangle my hair with a wide tooth comb, only a wide tooth comb, and make sure it's fully detangled. And wash days are pretty much the only time I use a comb to detangle my hair because I really like using my fingers over everything. So once I'm done adding both products to the hair, I'm just going to twist it up and do the same thing to the next side. And of course, I had to hook you guys up, so I do have 50% off if you check out the links. So once both sides are complete, I'm just using my 
cap from Bomo Chauveau. It's just a deep conditioning cap. And I'm just gonna leave it on for about 30 minutes. And this is the amount of shedded hairs that I got from um, washing my hair. And that's actually not too bad. And 30 minutes later, I'm gonna rinse it out. So this is my hair after I rinsed everything out. It's super soft and manageable. And my scalp is cleaner than a bit, okay? I have no flakes and that's what I've been struggling with, but it's clean, it's clean. I usually just tie my hair up into a t-shirt. I don't use a towel because it's gonna make my hair frizzy. And then it's on to styling, which is step five. So as you can see, I'm just laying down my baby hairs because that is definitely a must. So I ended up doing a wash and go off camera because I just recently did a video on that. So if you're interested, I will link it or you can press the little card button on either the right or left hand side. So as you can see, my hair is super shiny. The curls are popping. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you learned something and I'll see you guys all in my next one. Deuces! TG's cooking for us again. I'm so happy. But wow. <laughs> What's next, boo-boo? Okay, let me stop talking like that. <laughs> What's next? <laughs>